There's a parade through the heart of Chicago to mark the world premiere of Ross Hunter's new picture, The Art of Love. Producer Hunter is accompanied by the most beautiful models from the Windy City, a town he considers lucky, for his last 10 movies have had their premieres in Chicago. One of the picture's stars, Ethel Merman, Miss Broadway herself, says she has never had so much fun unless it was playing in the art of love itself. After opening in key cities, the art of love will be shown nationwide as one of Universal's most important releases of the year. The U.S. Open goes into overtime as Gary Player drives in the playoff round. The South African tied with an Australian in the regulation tourney, Kel Nagel, and this 18 holes will tell the story. Which one will be the first foreigner to win this title in 45 years? Player is five strokes ahead after eight holes, and from there, it's a breeze. Player makes history in more ways than one. He announces that he is donating his purse to the U.S. Golf Association, 5,000 to be given to cancer research, and the rest to develop junior golfers. He's that happy in capturing a title that has long eluded him. Now he joins Gene Sarazen and Ben Hogan as the only golfers to win the U.S. and British Open, the U.S. Pro Crown, and the Masters. To top it all, he gave his caddy a thousand dollars and a thousand dollar tip. Running to their cars in the traditional Le Mans start, 51 drivers take off for the 24-hour grind that will end tomorrow, almost 3,000 miles later. It's a race around eight miles of public roads, a grind that always takes a heavy toll of both man and machine. Early in the race, American-made cars take the lead positions, but they are soon outpaced by the Italian-made Ferraris. Of the 11 American entries, only one is destined to finish, but both drivers and manufacturer vow to be back next year to challenge the Italian domination. As night follows day, they roar on. One by one, cars fall by the wayside. Only 14 of the starters complete the race. There's a crowd of more than a quarter of a million people here, and they catnap during the night, but are up with daybreak to see the finish. Two and a half hours from the finish, number 21 takes over. This is an American entry, driven by Maston Gregory of Kansas City and Jochen Rint of Austria. Despite its New York ownership, it's an Italian Ferrari, and when it crosses the finish, it makes the sixth year in a row that a Ferrari has won. The winning mechanics get a victory ride, and it was an especially sweet victory for bespectacled Gregory. It was his first win at Le Mans in 12 long years of trying, an American victory in a French race with an Italian car. <laughs> 